Roy Cooper, the Democrat. Mr. Cooper, I'm going to start with you. Earlier this month, you were quoted saying the state crime lab that you've overseen for more than a decade is, quote, providing <coughs> excellent service, but the average processing time for a case is seven and a half months. Uh, this was called excellent service. Should voters be concerned about your management skills going into the governor because we've got these wait times? This is an issue about leadership, finding a problem, accepting responsibility for that problem, and solving it. When I became Attorney General, there were over 5,000 DNA rape kits sitting on local law enforcement shelves. We also had years of shoddy investigation. I ordered the independent investigation and made sure that we got rid of that backlog and worked to make sure all of our scientists were certified in the lab. And it is providing good service across our state. When you're talking about crime labs, Governor McCrory was mayor of Charlotte when they had a crime lab. And they destroyed, Governor McCrory's crime lab destroyed hundreds of DNA rape kits, many of them in open cases. And Governor McCrory did not fix the problem. When he left the mayor's office, it was still happening. And I'm sure we're going to hear him blame it on somebody else, just like he usually does. All right. Mr. McCrory, 60 seconds. Um, the reason Charlotte had its own crime lab is because Attorney General Easley and Attorney General Cooper couldn't do their job. And not only does Charlotte have to have its own crime lab, now Fayetteville is going to build its own crime lab. Greensboro has its own crime lab. He says he's doing his job. If he's doing such a good job, why is Irondale County even thinking about getting this crime lab? Because they're tired of waiting on you. The governor's job is a huge job. I got one department with 16,000 employees, just one of the departments the governor's responsible for. If you can't handle the crime lab after 14 or 16 years, how are you going to handle all of state government? It's been a disaster. You talk to sheriffs, one of the reasons they say you don't supposedly have a backlog is you contracted it out. Now the contractors have backlog. If you talk to any lawyer who's, got a, who's driven a DWI in North Carolina and gets caught, no problem. It'll take a half a year or a year to get the blood test back. His trial attorney friends who are giving okay. him thousands upon thousands Thank of dollars love the crime lab just as it is. 30 seconds. Uh, another distortion, the Charlotte crime lab was started in 1969. So Governor McCrory once again is trying to blame somebody else. Crime labs are critical. We, with the North Carolina State Crime Lab, have put thousands of rapists and murderers in jail. They've also helped to clear innocent people across North Carolina. They are working hard with law enforcement every single day and it is critical that we continue the funding because more and more evidence continues to come in. you got 30 seconds. I agree it's critical that we continue the funding. And frankly, as governor, I've asked for more funding. I haven't got one email from him requesting help from the crime lab. Of course, he's only done 14 emails in 16 years as attorney general. It seems like if you really wanted to improve the crime lab, you'd talk to the governors and you'd talk, send emails to legislative leaders and say, help me with this crime lab. You haven't done that. There are no emails saying, we've got a problem. Help us fix it together. All right, I'm gonna, Matt, may I respond? Please? Okay, I'll give you 30 and then yeah. I'm gonna give him 30 again. Uh, we met with Governor McCroy's budget director and budget team every single time before the legislature. And Governor McCrory has all of a sudden become interested in the crime lab issue during these last few months. It is critical that there be resources for the state crime lab to make sure that those crimes are solved. And Governor McCrory has not been doing his job in providing those resources. Final third. Actually, I'm, I'm the governor who got the resources for now, hopefully, a development of a Western lab because the Western part of North Carolina has been just suffering because of the lack of productivity from your crime lab, which you've been responsible for. And by the way, before that, you were responsible for the SBI before it was transferred to the governor. The head of his SBI was a political appointee. It was basically a, a political hack that he hired as a head of the SBI. When I took over the SBI, I put people who had actually experience in law enforcement, not making it a political organization.